Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah with another exciting episode of Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi Battles. Do me a favor, hit that like button to support this series. Thank you guys so much for doing so. Alright, here is a battle that I took from the stream. Uh, it was against Zack, and looking at his team, um, he's got uh, a couple Eeveelutions, my favorite Pokemon in the entire game, Vaporeon right over there. Tyrantrum, Esper, Raichu, Delphox, Leafeon. Pretty unique team there. I haven't encountered like half these Pokemon in competitive battling yet. Um, I'm bringing some new pokes along with. Uh, you guys have seen my Smeargle. But this episode is really showcasing my Azumarill. So, spoiler alert there. <laughs> but still, I'll narrate it in the way that um, I typically do. Where we're thinking it's live and I'm going to give you guys my in-depth thought process on all my moves. Alright, so as usual, I'm going to lead off with my Smeargle. Because I can set up some entry hazards, I can put something to sleep, and we can go from there. So, I seem to be a little bit faster than this Esper over here. So I get that Spore, first turn, bam, it works everything out into my favor. Um, he doesn't get a first turn wake up, hopefully, that's what I'm aiming for. Um, knowing that mostly all of his Pokemon, if not all of them, touch the ground, so I need to get that Sticky Web up as soon as I can, just so I slow him down and have a better time sweeping through. Alright, I'm going to get up the Stealth Rocks too, just in case they have any Focus Sashes. We're pretty much in the game right over here. Now, I, I bust out Extreme Speed just to potentially, I don't know if he's got a Focus Sash or something. I just do a little bit of damage. Um, now, Misty Terrain, I've never actually encountered uh, this move before. Um, I think it prevents all Pokemon from being asleep. Um, but I try to put his Esper asleep once more. But, uh, Zack actually did a great prediction into switching into his, uh, his Leafy on there to absorb the Spore because it doesn't affect it. Uh, so knowing that I'm going to switch out, he may, I don't know, set up? Does he get, like, work up or something? I don't know. He goes for Nature Power, and Nature Power turns into Moonblast whenever Misty Terrain is up. Which is pretty unique. Uh, that's a very awesome strategy in case you're fighting a whole bunch of dragons and everything. But it looks like Leafeon is more of a attacker than a special attacker. But either way, I'm pretty good considering both of my stab attacks destroy Leafeon. Uh, so right now, I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz. Uh, considering the fact that... Oh no, no, that's right. I go for Bulk Up because I knew the switch was coming. I was also thinking, okay, if I went for Flare Blitz, it would have been pretty, pretty good coverage over most of his team. So I knew the switch was coming, so I get that Bulk Up going. Um, right now, we're facing head off until onto a Raichu, and I know that Raichu's defense is really meager, so I think I can knock it out. So I go for it, hoping that I don't get static And Raichu's ability is static, so if you do a physical move on Raichu, there's a chance that you might get paralyzed. So lucky for me, that did not activate. I'm sitting here with plus one defense, plus one attack, and I've got that priority uh, Brave Bird. Alright, so right over here, my favorite po my favorite Pokemon, Vaporeon, Aqua Light Heart. Awesome name for that thing. Alright, I'm not going to stay in, basically because any kind of move, Scald, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, that's going to hurt. But I know that I've got the perfect counter, which is my Azumarill right here. Now, knowing that that only did like a good 1-6 damage, like 10%, I know that I can set up with this thing. So I know he's going to switch up. He's going to switch to any one of his Pokemon. It doesn't matter who. Esper comes in. All right, so now here is the move of the game. That turn determined the outcome of the match, pretty much. So since I knew that he was going to switch out, I go for the Belly Drum on Azumarill, which cuts Azumarill's HP in half and goes to plus six on attack. I go for Play Rough, and I narrowly miss it. But for some reason, Esper goes for Light Screen, which is not really, I guess, the best play. I would have gone for Reflect if he had it. Uh, but he goes for Sucker Punch because he knows that I'm going to be attacking him. And right now, literally, all I can do is play rough his entire team and knock it all the way out. Because, for one, Sticky Web's up, so their speed is going to be lowered, and Azumarill's speed isn't that great. So that helps him out big time. And plus, I've got um, Aqua Jet, which is priority. And it's stab, so that's going to be very strong. So right now, just playing rough on everyone, and what's so awesome about play rough is that as soon as you're done with the animation, the HP bar go, goes so far down, it's not even funny. It goes so fast. All right, right over here, brings in Tyrantrum. I'm still going to go for play rough, considering it's super effective against it. I'm not going to go for Aqua Jet, because that'll be neutral. 
Um, so I think that's what Zack was doing. Zack was thinking I was going to go for the Aqua Jet and go into Vaporeon for the Water Absorb. Um, but, no, I totally saw right through there. Stuck with my guns and continued on with playing rough. Bam! Knocking out Vaporeon. HP bar goes down so quick. And it's out of here. Sorry, Vaporeon. My favorite Pokemon. Dang it. Anyway, here comes Delphox over here. Now, Delphox is pretty quick, but since the speed is lowered due to the sticky web, I can literally just Aqua Jet and I'll be set. Now that Vaporeon's out of the way and there's no one to block my Aqua Jets, I'm pretty golden. Alright, so here we go. All we have left is that Tyrantrum, right? Tyrantrum's gonna get owned by a Play Rough, and that is going to be the game. Definitely game changing right there. So if you ever see it in Azumarill, you gotta be wary because it may carry that belly drum. So you better knock that thing out really quick. And wow, if you get cornered like I cornered that Vaporeon right there, it's pretty much good game. Alright, Zach, well it was an awesome battle. I definitely like your unique team of Raichu and Vaporeon. That was a cool little uh little base there. Um, other than that, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for taking the time out of your day for doing that. Let me know what you thought of the battle in the comment section below. If you guys didn't already, click on that like button to help support the series. And while you're clicking on stuff, hit that subscribe button to stay updated on daily uploads of Pokemon. You've got Mario, you've got Zelda. There's a lot of good stuff on my channel, so it's worth the subscribe. Other than that, guys, uh, if you guys are interested in battling with me, I would love it if you guys stopped by the weekend live streams that I host over here on my channel every weekend for you guys. It's awesome. Um, 4 p.m. Saturday, Sunday. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you on the next one. See ya.